we got the MMP shield, um, nine millimeter. We're gonna do a little safety check. I know you guys like to see that all the time. A little safety check, gun safe, no bullets in it. However you want to put it, we're ready to rock and roll with it now. But um, what happened was, um, I got the gun. Didn't care too much for it the way it was. So we did a lot. Of, I did a lot of work too. I did everything for it. And uh, my other video shows the other work I did too. I did some for a friend of mine too. Did his MMP shield up. Um, mine has that trigger, that apex trigger in it. It's really, really neat. Really like it a lot. And uh, I put all the springs in it. We got the sear. If you just put the sear in, it'll lower the weight up extremely make it really smooth this this the sear alone would do it I put the springs in there and it seems like um, it's about the same but it's smoother I also put a new plunger in there too I, everything that Apex had for we I put in there so it's basically everything Apex sells for the MMP shields in there and of course we got the big dot sights on there still it, it rocks Really, really great gun. I mean, even to the trigger pull on it. I don't have a gauge with me right now, but it's just, it's right there. It's smooth. It's really, it's great. Cool. Um, I know. Let's go out to the range. Oh, yeah, another thing, too. Um, This is that Pierce little grip adapter. I didn't buy it. A, a friend of mine gave it to me. It's pretty cool. It, it, it it puts somewhere for your, your pinky to go when you wrap around it. It seems to work out pretty good. Oh, yeah. Also, this is what I carried into. It's a Galco holster. I think they call it the Stinger. It's a little has a little belt loop on the side. It's all leather. It fits in there real nice. I mean, it's it's a great holster too. It's outside the waistband. I got some inside the waistbands too, but it seems like this works pretty cool. Okay, well, we gotta shoot it, so let's go to the range and shoot. We're out here with the MMP shield. Just giving you a better update on it. Um, put the big dot front side on there. Maybe you guys could see a little better here. I don't know if you can or not. Uh, we'll do it when we get up back to the house. We're just going to shoot a group over here at seven yards and see how it comes out. Okay, here we go. Let you guys, I'll see if I can zoom in on it. See what it looks like. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll show it. To you. Man, I think this is a little bit crazy. I got the plate rack down there, 18 yards away, or better. I think it was 18 yards. I'm going to shoot it with the MP shield with the big dot sights on it. I put eight rounds, we got six plates. <laughs> okay, let's rock. Okay, we're loaded, we're ready to go. Let's see if I can hit them. Okay, here we go. I hit it, then get down, there it goes. All right, all right. I had a couple of them. It seemed like they wouldn't go down. Oh well. Let me load that puppy back up and see if we can knock them down again. We're all I'm gonna try it again. Like I said, we're 18 yards away. MMP shield. This time I'm gonna try using a seven round magazine without the finger grooves in it and see what happens. But I really like that eight round mag. It seems like a you get a good hand purchase on it. But we'll try it this way. Okay, here we go. I only got seven in there, so we'll see what happens.
Yeah, doing a pretty good trick. I'm at the 10 yard line. Got a little bit closer with the plates. I think I put seven rounds in this time with the magazine, but I got the seven round magazine and let's see if we get the plates down. Okay, here we go. They went down, that one I hit wobbled. That's yards away at that middle plate rack. There's one right behind each other. Using the eight round magazine. I think I gotta have eight rounds in it, but we'll see. We'll go ahead and we're gonna see if we can knock them down. Here we go. Oh, there it went, finally went down.